Hi guys, just thought I'd make a video on some recommended freeware programs. I made a post about a year ago on a technology forum giving links to lots of different freeware programs that I considered everyone should really have on their computer. I'll provide this in the description, but today I'll be going through the most essential ones, and that's all these here. You probably have, well, one at least one of them on your computer at the moment. But I'll be going through them anyway. <laughs> uh, if we start with Foxit Reader, Foxit Reader is a PDF reader. It's an alternative to Adobe Acrobat Reader. Basically, a PDF. If you picture yourself with an instruction manual, instruction book, put the pages underneath each other, and that's what a PDF is. It's useful for like game manuals and ebooks and stuff like that. Um, if I open a random PDF document here, you can see the speed that that just opened. It's opened practically instantly, and you can drag through all the pages, stack pages from here. It's very, very useful. Pigeon is a multi platform, multi protocol instant messaging client. Basically, uh, you can chat on very, well, loads of different uh, protocols AIM, Bonjour, Google Talk, all these ones. I've covered this in a previous video, but yeah, you can chat on basically all of those in one go. I used mine for IRC because IRC isn't free on most of the major Windows programs. Uh, I use IRC mainly for game servers, so I can chat with people that are playing in game. So that's Pigeon. Mozilla Firefox is you probably heard of it. It's the one of the most popular internet browsers. Some people would argue that Opera is better, but at the moment I consider Firefox to be better for the for basically for the overall internet experience, they've got skins, they've got plugins, loads of different things you can do with Firefox. Um, C Cleaner is Crap Cleaner. Basically it cleans out your computer of all unnecessary files and gives you some space to get some other stuff to fill up your hard drive with. Uh, it'll analyse it and then you can run the cleaner and it will get rid of everything. I use it mostly for the registry. Uh, basically it will scan your issues in your registry, loads of different issues there, and then fix it all in one go. Um, so I've got 138 issues with my registry, fix all selected issues, done. So that's very very quick as well. Uh, Tweak UI is a Microsoft XP, Windows XP power toy, not sure if you can get this with Vista. Uh, basically you get a gazillion amount of options that you can you can change on your XP experience loads of different things here, you can change what's in your context menu and st things like that. Very useful application. Feed Reader is an RSS reader. Basically, while you're on the internet and you've got loads of different websites that you go to, if they've got, I think actually this forum has, yep, if they've got that logo, you can basically subscribe to the page and any new information that comes from that page will come in here in headlines and then you click on them and then you click on that and then that will it shows you a small description then you click on that and it'll go to their website but very handy if you if you visit multiple websites that have got news headlines and things like that and you don't want to open your browser also with this feed reader application it will pop up in the corner if um, any new ones come through which is quite handy uh, Klight codec pack that I consider to be very essential for playing any type of video file, currently all the video files on the internet. Some would argue that there's other codec packs which are newer, but at the moment I've, I've found no need to get anything else but the K-Lite codec pack. Uh, it won't look like this, uh, basically I've changed the uh, shortcut, shortcut points to uh, Media Player Classic, which I also recommend, which is freeware. Um, as you can see, very simple, just put your videos in there and play it. Uh, Earth and View is for your pictures. Basically, open a photo, it opens straight away. Um, several different options you can do, creating effects and stuff like that, resizing it. It's a lot faster than uh, any, well, practically any other thing you can find, and it supports an un unbelievable amount of um, extensions, much like uh, the K Lite cod codec pack does. Uh, Anti-VIR Personal Edition Classic is a uh, antivirus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Actually, I've said anti-VIR. That's what I say anyway. Basically, it's a guard. 
it doesn't cost you anything, it's probably as good as Norton is, Norton's stupidly resource hungry and it's I actually hate it. <laughs> um, FileZilla is for website owners, basically you can get it to connect through FTP, file transfer protocol, to a server that's on the internet and you can transfer files between them, it's useful for updating websites and things like that. Uh, FileZilla, that's, that's freeware as well. so. That's handy. Uh, iDisk scans your disk basically for things that are taking up the most uh, space on your computer. Shows you on a graph. Very quick, very simple, which is what we like. Uh, then yeah, you can right-click and then you can delete the files or browse and delete things. But that's basically a very quick way to show you the space. Uh, Log me in allows you to basically access your computer for anywhere through your browser from anywhere through your browser it runs in the taskbar uh, doesn't take many resources at all I've noticed no speed difference um, basically yeah you log in through the logmein.com website and you can access your computer and actually as if you're sitting in front of it controlling the mouse and the keyboard so that's handy if you're at school or at work and you want to access your home computer uh, WinRAR this one isn't free it's got a 30 day trial but I highly recommend getting it because there are a lot of files that are compressed on the internet into RAR format and you need this to unzip them or unbar them even. Uh, U-Torrent torrent application you can get go on things like the thepiratebay.org and download lots of different software. A lot of people would say uh, don't get it it's illegal but you can actually download legitimate software over torrents so to things like Nero and, and images of Linux disks are done through torrents because it saves the strain on web servers so you're actually downloading from another computer instead of a web server. Uh, OpenOffice.org this is a very handy program if you if you don't want to pay for Microsoft Office it basically runs the same as, uh, it looks exactly the same as Office, it's got the same functionality apart from it doesn't cost a penny so Yes, you've got Calc, Impress, I think Impress is uh, alternative to PowerPoint, alternative to Excel, uh, Access, uh, and things like that. Very handy program. Also Recorder, oh, I double click this because I've already installed it. It's very, 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 very useful for if you want to make, if you have a CD in your CD-ROM drive and you want to make an image of it, basically make it into a file on your computer which you can then put onto another disk so you can back up your disk basically you can just use this and it's so easy you just press next and it does it <laughs> I'll cancel that or not anyway uh, and you can also go from CD to CD and anything like that um, very good just adds two context menus in your CD drive in my computer uh, create image from CD and copy CD to CD I like that program quite a bit <laughs> XPIs is basically can it will change your um, your it will update your graphics basically as you can see I've got what it does it, it shows you loads of screenshots of what it, it updates on your computer uh, updates all the old stuff changes fonts and things like that Mine's a different font, but I've done mine through something else, which I'll probably explain in a later video. Um, electric Sheep, uh, I've only just got around to installing. What Electric Sheep does is it's a screensaver and it downloads graphics from the internet that people make. And you can have things like this that move that are on your computer. So it's r r it looks really nice um, to have. Um, it, I think it downloads it through torrents and stuff like that, other people's computers. And uh, I'd recommend getting a uh, high, high speed connection to run this because it does take up quite a lot of bandwidth because these are quite big files. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you have any you'd, you think you'd prefer, uh, any software you like, leave a comment. I'll, ha I'll be sure to check it out. If you if you like my videos, then rate and comment, and I'll keep making more. Um, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.